So it's me again, Mrs. Chaparro, back with another science article reading. This audio goes with the assignment for March 26, 2020, regarding the article Weather versus Climate. I will read the article to you, and then I will read the questions that you will answer on a sheet of paper if you cannot print this out. So, as always, stay tuned, folks, and here we go. Okay, 7th graders, as I read this, um, you will see I have already highlighted some things as I um, did that without thinking about recording this. So, um, these areas in this article that I've highlighted, they will help you answer the questions. And here we go. Of course, as you can see, this came from the National Geographic Center, and this is a very recent article. I think it was published in February. Without any further delay, here is weather versus climate. It can be very cold during winter, but even so, average temperatures on Earth are rising. It's happening around the world. This is known as global warming. Almost all scientists agree that global warming is real. They also agree that humans are causing it. How can we still have cold weather and global warming? It's because weather and climate are two different things. Weather is what's happening right now. Weather is what happens in the air closest to Earth. It can be hot and sunny or rainy and cold. It can be cloudy, windy, and stormy. It can rain or snow. The sun heats the air. Warm air rises or goes up. Cold air rushes in to fill its place. This causes wind. Air also holds water gas called water vapor. The wind and the water in the air cause clouds, rain, and snow. It causes storms to form and move. The weather is always changing. Scientists study the weather. They look at satellites, weather stations, and instruments that float in the ocean. They try to tell what weather is coming in the next few days or weeks. This is called a forecast. Weather forecasts are very important. They warn people. Big storms can cause floods. Dry winds can spread forest fires. Climate describes conditions over a long time. Weather can last for days or weeks or months. Climate is what the weather is like over a long time. This is usually 30 years or more. A very cold winter can happen even when the world is getting warmer. Climate is different around the world. Different types of plants and animals live in different climates. Weather and climate are connected. A change in climate can lead to changes in weather patterns. This time, humans are changing climate. Climate change is not new. The climate has changed many times in Earth's history. Now it is changing much faster. Humans are causing the change. People burn coal, gas, and oil. These are called fossil fuels. They form from plants and animals that were buried a long time ago. We use fossil fuels to power our cars, trucks, buses, and trains. We use them to turn on lights, heat our homes, and run factories. Burning fossil fuels puts carbon dioxide into the air. Carbon dioxide is a kind of greenhouse gas. These gases are like the glass roof in a sun in a greenhouse. They allow heat from the sun to come into the atmosphere. They trap the heat. The earth gets warmer. The earth is getting warmer. 
Global warming is already happening. In the last 100 years, Earth has warmed by more than one degree Fahrenheit. Sea ice is melting. Glaciers are shrinking. Sea levels are rising. Events like floods, wildfires, and hurricanes happen more often. When they do, they are stronger. Animals and plants are moving to cooler areas. Scientists first learned about how greenhouse gases affect the atmosphere in the 1800s. In the late 1930s, scientists found that Earth was already getting warmer. In the 1980s, people started to do something about the warming. In 1988, the United Nations formed a group. It is called the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Since then, countries have agreed to lower how much carbon dioxide they put out. In 2015, almost 200 countries agreed to lower the greenhouse gases they make. This is called the Paris Agreement. In 2017, the United States left the agreement on a list of countries that put out greenhouse gases. The United States is second. Okay, guys, here is your worksheet that goes with the article. I'm going to read through the questions. Feel free to pause my voice so you can answer. Obviously, you will have to pause so you can get the correct answers. Here's what the directions say. I have highlighted the most important parts of this article. The information about weather is highlighted in yellow. The information about climate is highlighted in blue. Directions. After reading the article, answer the questions with the correct answers. Number one, true or false, weather is happening right now. Number two, weather happens in the air closest to blank. A, the sun, B, the moon, or C, earth. Three, write down one way scientists study weather. Four, what is a forecast? Five, Name one reason why weather forecasts are important. Six, climate is weather over a long period of blank. A, life, B, time, C, seasons. Number seven, name one fossil fuel. Number eight, what do we use fossil fuels for? Number nine, carbon dioxide is a kind of blank blank. And number 10, name one thing that is happening that tells scientists global warming is happening. Okay, seventh graders, make sure you write down your answers on a piece of paper if you could not print this out, and I will see you soon. Thanks for listening.